out of there by that machine. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so this X will just will just swing around and hoist this guy up and out, right? Chain him up. The small one. Yeah. Pull him out, which actually, that's not really a. Well, I guess it is a mini X, but I've seen them a whole lot smaller. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah no. <laughs> but it's uh, looking at what we have here. It's a mini X. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's go. S so Duncan, the plumbing here um, is on. Eventually, it, it goes into Montecito Water District, right? City, city sewer. Correct, and that's up on on the street level. Right. So that that's all the way up. If you can get a sense. We've come a ways down. The trailer's up there and the street there. So under the street is sewer that eventually um, ties into uh, Montecito Sanitary District. And it's a city sewer. Now, as we all know, the three things we need about plumbing is water waste vent and excrement rolls downhill at a quarter inch to a foot. So <laughs> we can't go down here because we're crossing other people's property, right? Correct. So there's no way to get to a city sewer that way, plus easements, etc. You just can't do it. So. How are we gonna make, Duncan, how are we gonna make <laughs> all that waste and, and go uphill and well, go all the way up there? To that, the sewer? That's, why, that's why we have mechanical engineers. So they've, they've come up with a, a uh, ejection pump, grinder pump system for the sewer. The ejector pump, which has a variety of uh, pieces to it, not the least of which is a macerator, which is the thing that chews it all up, right? Ma liquefies all the waste. Yeah. And then uh, puts it into a big tank. Well, it all goes into a big tank, gets, gets chewed up, and then by pumps, it gets ejected through an inch and a half tube all the way up to the top of the road. So and that, out, of that, out of that vessel, what do we got here? Okay, we got, I got 17 minutes on the battery. That should be about good. Okay, so I don't know if you really want to go all the way down here, but. Well, I, want, I want to see, because you know, when I was here, I saw your, um, your. Uh, the hole that we had. Well, I saw the, the vessel, the, uh, the ejection. Uh, <laughs> help me there. The, the ejection tank. Tank, which looked like it was pretty heavy. Was it? Is it? Was it rubber? Polyprope? It's polyprope. It's not. It, it only about 300 pounds. Where the heck is empty. It, now? it is buried in the ground at the south corner of that vault. So is it inside the vault? No, it's just outside. So on the that vault side? was was an afterthought for all the plumbing or the pool equipment because there wasn't enough room under the cantilever. Deck. So will it be a vault or is that just a deck and there'll be a house on top? Will it be that that gets a concrete deck that'll eventually have stone on it and, and it'll be topped with a trellis. Okay. So it's a semi shaded area. Um, the vault underneath it was because of our terrain, it wasn't as steep as or changing it as much as the uh, civil and the architect thought. So we had to dig down in and actually get more height as well as he didn't want to see the equipment. At, at the first design was it was just stuck under the cantilever. Now it's all the way in the vault so you don't see it, so which is a much better design. That ejector that I saw, that, uh, that tank, that, how many gallons is it hold? Uh, you know, it doesn't... <laughs> It doesn't really hold. Really it it, it keeps. Yeah, I, I, I mean, so at, at most it's, it's about seven. Eight, eight foot tall, maybe. It's probably about two to two hundred gallons. You can see the top of it. It's that green, the green top. So it's it's now buried in the oh, ground. Okay. That's that's that piece that was over there, kind of in that corner when Correct. I was there the other day. Yeah. And now. There's the green top. I'm going to zoom on it. I didn't think you wanted to go down the ladder. Yeah, I don't. Anyway, it's over there. Now, and the reason why I'm spending so much time on this is because the miracle of when you turn on your faucets, when you flush your toilets, the miracle of, oh, it just goes away. Well, yeah, it doesn't just go away. It goes, it goes downhill. And it goes downhill. <laughs> it goes, it's all pipe plumbed, you know, with gravity to feed it into that tank. 
and that tank chews it up, liquefies whatever goes into it, and then a pretty good sized pump. Yes. How big is that pump? What's well, that? it's it's an 80 foot head. Yeah. Yeah. That it's got to get. Feet ahead. So that means the head is it has to pump it uphill, straight uphill, uh, 80 feet. That's the head, and then. Then there's it's fall. Three, it's, it's 300 fall. foot distance. Yeah, 300 feet of fall, 80 foot ahead. I mean, that's huge. So that's a pretty big pump pumping up there. But yeah. That's the system. And it's all um, wired up with alarms and stuff. So if it ever, you know, the pump fails or anything fails, the thing will just start blurring and drive you out of a sound sleep. So you don't have to <laughs> fix it. Because the last thing you want is a sewer backup. This is the pool. This is looking back up at the site. And I think, so Doug, how long do you think you'll be on this? Oh, it'll be three years. So you projected three years. And how far into it are you? I am uh, nine months. I, I brushed this out in May of, of 20. Any COVID setbacks or anything? We've like had that? a few, um, you know, uh, Pool guys, for one, uh, their steel group had had a, a bout of COVID go through it. Um, so there's been different, our waterproofers had the same. Um, luckily, at this stage, there's a lot I can work around. You know, as it gets to more of the finishes, that's a different story. But when, when I can't do the pool, you know, I, I move ahead and it doesn't make it that much more efficient, unfortunately, but we keep going. We have to. Yeah. We've got a deadline and the, the owners expect to have their house when they do. Oh, yeah, that's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun to have that. So nine months into a three-year project and uh, it's just begun, really. It's just begun. And, and really, the, the thinking and the working out of all these problemas, problemas, and you know, figuring out better ways to do things, figuring out worse ways to do things, usually all, almost always better, but at least figuring out how to do things. Um, that's at every stage of the game. Yeah, that just never stops. You know, it'll, it'll stop, well, it'll slow way down once we're out of the ground. Yeah. You know, the foundation work, especially on this, because of the terrain, because of the lack of... of um, access um, it's as you can tell I mean we're 12 and a half feet down in a hole and we've got to finish digging things and get equipment out to the next level yep. then backfill that level to access other things to start building below so it really the challenge is you know dealing with what comes in between or before or after trying to get the foundation in perfect example is you know that that i-beam the uh the column the wide flange column who would have thought i'd have to put that in you know five months ago way in advance <laughs> way in Otherwise, advance you're not going to get to that thing well, you can't well, get the equipment to it to I, dig the hole the that's footing. that's the main thing and i couldn't have done my retaining wall either so because I've got another wall basically right next to that that I've got to excavate all the way down 12 and a half feet below those footings against the caissons to get enough space to, to get the size footing that needs to be in there. So it's, it's, you know, dig this, fill that, dig that, fill this, then get back to this, then dig that back out, then move on to the, it's, it's. And you're the guy. Now I'm trying to be. Yeah, and I'm, I'm <laughs> sure you're taking whatever um, you can from your subs. I'm sure they're. Uh, oh, it's it's a collaborative are, thing. Totally I I don't. But ultimately, you, know, you you're making the choices that make this happen. There's there's, you know, you're not calling it. God, I wonder what should we do here. Hey, can you guys? <laughs> nope. No, I've I've got a plan. The collaboration comes with with the expertise of my subs. Yes. I'm not a dirt man. Yep. I'm not a plumber. Yep. yep. Um, you know, but I know how it has to work. So if I say we need to do this and they have either a better way or they can see that something won't work, they, they speak up and we go about our day. So it's, it's, it's fun that way. 
and it, it's good for the subs because um, they get to show their expertise. Yeah, and they're a part of it. And, this yeah, thing is, yeah, a, it's, this is it, a big team effort, man. And, huge and team effort. I just um, just got to give you kudos for um, for your part in it because this does not happen with you, and, it, and I'm impressed with what you're doing. And I want to show you, I want to show you what they're excavating. In. This 